Okay. Yeah, that ain't too bad. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that one's straight too. Okay. Oh, YouTube, team keep it clean. My fault, I was just looking up flights from either Miami International Airport or Fort Lauderdale Airport up to BWI because maybe me and Hollywood and Lamar Jackson, maybe all the Florida Ravens, we need to take a trip so we can work some things out with Eric DaCosta so we can get some stuff straight. But anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? Um, well, let me tell you what's going on. Hopefully, this ends up being a bunch of nothing. That's what we're hoping for. Uh, Hollywood has deleted all of his Ravens stuff uh, from Instagram. Any picture that he got with the Ravens is gone as of right now. Hopefully that changes maybe today, maybe over the next couple of days. We'll see. Um, but right now it's gone. Now, I'm not sure what the reason for that would be. I would hope that it's not with contract negotiations. I would hope that he didn't hear some bad news from them. I would hope that that's not the case. I wouldn't think it was, but you just never know because business is business. Uh, the, the season just officially ended a couple of days ago, and now, hey, it's time. We, we moving on to the 2022 season. Um, but Eric DaCosta, he did already say he was going to pick up Hollywood Brown's fifth-year option. Now, something that I said it's great for him saying that, but we, until we actually see that notification, the Ravens have picked up Hollywood Brown's fifth year option. Then, hey, it, talk is cheap. We got to see some action follow behind it. But anyway, with him deleting all his stuff, all his Raven stuff uh, from Instagram, um, this, again, hopefully it's a bunch of nothing. But we've seen this before. But we've seen it on both sides of the fence before. We've seen it when a player is getting ready to leave a team and they ended up deleting all their stuff. But we've also seen it on the flip side where a player, they staying with the team, but they still ended up deleting all their stuff. So hopefully maybe it's like a rebranding or something like that. I'm not sure how that would exactly work, but hopefully, again, it ends up being nothing. Because uh, I remember, obviously, years ago, uh, was it Darius Smith when he got rid of all his Raven stuff and then boom, free agent went to the Packers. Okay, cool. Uh, but I also remember just this year, Rashad Bateman on one of his Instagrams, he had got rid of all his Raven stuff, but it was just temporarily. Uh, but they, I did, I do believe they said he had got like a new, um, he had got a new agent or something. So maybe, hopefully, maybe that's what's happening with Hollywood. I don't know, man. Maybe he got a new eight. I don't know, but. Hopefully, this is just a bunch of nothing. Now, we know across the country, um, Hollywood's boy, his guy, his A1, Day 1, K1, Kyler Murray. Um, he is, whatever they got going on with the Cardinals right now, Kyler Murray did sort of the same thing. He got rid of all his pictures, but about two of them. And you know, them, them Cardinals, they were like, oh, okay, Kyler. You want to be petty? We can be pettier. I remember when I originally saw this on the Cardinals Instagram page where they got rid of all their pictures except for two and both of the two of Kyler Murray. I was like, whoa, okay. T teams is doing it like that now? That Wow. They really doing the petty. Um, but maybe it's in support of him. I don't know. I, I know they're good friends, but I, I don't know. I don't know what the correlation uh, would be. But even with Kyler Murray, it's, it's that, that whole situation has been very strange because uh, just coincidentally, uh, the year, that the offseason that Kyler Murray becomes eligible for a contract extension, you, you start hearing all these rumors that seem like the team could be putting them out there to sort of try to uh, turn the fans against them or make whatever decision that they're going to make on Kyler Murray's future. They could sort of uh, have the fans be ready to absorb the blow, uh, but the blow hurt a little bit less because they're putting all this stuff out. Because it's, it's no coincidence. You got to always look at timing with a lot of these things because Kyler Murray is eligible for a contract extension. And it just so happens that some rumor came out that he could want. It didn't say he did want. It said he could want um, 50 to 55 mil. Now, we know he's not going to, he wouldn't get that, but... The, that was the rumor that he could want that. So people read that and they automatically go, oh, man, Kyler Murray, 50 to 55 mil, no way. 
And then, of course, the other reports came out that he was like he was a selfish player, um, that he, he didn't really vibe with the team like that. He was the only thing about himself. And I was like, ah. the timing's just very, very strange. And I know I saw some people say, oh, well, th there have been rumors like that since he first came into the league. I hadn't heard about him. But even if there were now around contract time, those rumors, they getting loud. And again, no coincidence. I mean, hey, look at Lamar Jackson. The rumors been coming out about him and it's been contract time. So coincidence? I think not. You know, the NFL is a very dirty game. It's a very dirty business. And contract time, ooh, teams will do a lot of stuff in order to lower your value. But hey, who knows what's really going on? But anyway, back to Hollywood with him deleting everything. Um, he not only deleted everything, all his Raven stuff from his Instagram, uh, but he also unfollowed the Ravens. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Again, hopefully it's a bunch of nothing, uh, but who knows? So we'll see how things progress. We'll see how things move along. Uh, we know that, um, again, Eric DeCasse said he's going to pick up his fifth year option. So I, I don't know. I don't know. They could be they could be in contract talks right now because they don't have to go the fifth year option route. They could sign him to a contract extension now. Because, yeah, he drafted 2019, 2021. Yeah, he's eligible for a contract extension now because he's entering his fourth year. So they could come up with the terms right here, right now, and he could sign it. Um, but we'll see what goes down with that. Now, on a more brighter note, more positive news, uh, I did listen to uh, Marcus Peters' interview uh, with Sway. Um, I didn't even realize Sway was that old, man. Um, but he, because uh, Sway, he said that he used to uh, run track with Marcus Peters' dad. They used to play football together. I was, man, I'm like, man, how, well, he looks great for his age, so shout out to Sway. Um, but Marcus Peters was on there, and he did say, like, hey, because Sway asked him about when he's expected to be back. Uh, he said he'll be back June, July. So that will put him uh, right there for uh, for training camp and all that uh, in the preseason. And with, with Marcus Peters, um, his injury, like, obviously injuries are all bad and they don't ever come at a good time. But his injury, it came at a, a, a good time for him as far as the following year uh, because it allowed him to – heal up for the entire football season uh so he could be on track like had he played like five six games seven games and of course you don't want ever ever want anybody to get hurt you never want that uh but the fact that he got hurt before the season even started oh and it was so rough man ah, that was rough uh but the fact that he got hurt before the uh season had even started uh then that allowed him to get right throughout the entire uh season and then uh, now into the off season as well. So we definitely looking forward to uh, Marcus Peters coming back. Make sure y'all check out that interview uh, if you haven't already, uh, because it, it was really good. Uh, it, it was really good. And of course, with Marcus Peters, it's like he I don't really see him interviewing too much. It ain't like he be on social media like crazy like that. Like when he went live like a month ago or something like that, I was like, wow, this is crazy. I can't believe it. Um, but he's not really a, a big, like, interview guy, but when he does have interviews, he always dropping some gems in there. He talked about how, um, his father set a standard for him as far as him being a father to his two sons. Uh, he talked about, um, just his, 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 his attitude, just how he is. Uh, cause Sway asked him about that. Like, do, do you feel like people misunderstand you and your personality? And he said, yeah. For sure. He said he does. He, he does have a hot head and he could flip that switch on like that. Um, but he says that he's definitely a different person than he was like his rookie year uh, or even in his second year. He said he's a much different person than when he was younger. Uh, he still got it. And he's, he's still let you know about yourself. But he said he, he is still a, he is a different person, a much different person uh, and, and a more mature person than he was uh, back then. Um, so y'all listen to the interview if you haven't, man, cause it's, it's a good one. It's, it's pretty quick. It's only like 15, 17 minutes, something like that. Uh, but it was cool. And, and Sway, uh, I, I just really never knew that Sway and, uh, Marcus Peters, their families, 
uh, were like that. Of course, they, they brought up Marshawn Lynch um, and how Marshawn Lynch really gave some hope to their family because he was the first one that, that made it. He was the first one that really made it to the NFL, and, like, he really made it. Like, he didn't just get to the NFL and was like, oh, okay, all right, well, I made it. No, he got to the NFL, and he did his thing. He had a lot of success. And now Marcus Peters, uh, he's done the same thing. So check it out. Uh, it's a good listen. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And, again, hopefully all this Hollywood stuff, it just blows over and ends up being a bunch of nothing. Um, but until then, we will wait and see. So like Hollywood better not be when it comes to being with the Ravens, I'm out.